What's up, y'all? Bricks from Bricks Fitness. I'm on, a, I'm on my way to the park. It's Wednesday, and we do sprints on Wednesday, so I'm meeting uh, with the fellas at the park. Cami's already there. We're doing a photo shoot with Cami today. I just recently started doing photography. I'm enjoying this. And what else we got going on today? I don't know. You'll see. On to these sprints. <laughs> Listen, these sprints are the epitome of getting outside of your comfort zone. There's no change. No change can happen in your body after a while. If you're in the beginning, this is not for you. But it is for the people who have been working out for a while. You will not continue to change your body unless you push yourself beyond your limits. You have to. I was talking myself out of this before I came. I'm so glad that I came. I got it done. So I just finished those sprints. We did, I sprinted, I did about 20 minutes of metabolic training, which is like high intensity with sprints and whatnot. But right now, this is the battle that I always have with myself. Like right now, it didn't feel like it was enough. This is me not pacing myself. I wanna go do some more cardio right now. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna surrender to myself in this battle right now, but I'm very aware that I probably shouldn't because I'm trying to do too much. But I just don't feel like fighting right now. But I'm aware of it. I'm gonna knock out 20 minutes of cardio and then I'll feel like I achieved something today. But it's the obsessive, the obsessive extremist in me that's making me go do cardio after I just did metabolic training. But it is what it is. This is how I work. Something just happened to me that has never in my life has happened to me before. This is so crazy. Doing my cardio, right? Oh, I'm on the stairs. I look up and my cardio was finished. I actually did three extra minutes of cardio. That has never in my life happened to me before. The last seven minutes of every cardio session, I'm staring at the clock like this. All right, so we're at the mall. We got to pick up some stuff for Kimmy. We're, we're about to do a photo shoot because now, when I'm in the mall, it's, it's a, a photo, photo shoot. shoot. I'm a photographer now. I had to, I had to turn, I had to turn around real quick because the light was killing my vibe. How scary is the Nightmare Before Christmas movie? Nobody watching the movie. We're at Nordstrom's. We're looking for the workout clothes. We can't find them. They move stuff around. Like I don't understand why you change where you would keep stuff. And my freaking tripod is broke. What you want? This. Right, you have a nice day. We did the shop and we got her some outfits for the for the photo shoot. Um, if you have not done it yet, please give this video a thumbs up. All right, so look, I've never been a photographer in my life, but I need high quality pics. And honestly, it's not in my budget to pay a photographer to take all these pictures. So me and Cami had to learn how to do it ourselves. That's just a part of entrepreneurship. Eventually, I will be able to hire one of you guys because you know what? Everybody that I hire going forward is going to be somebody that watches the channel now. So just be on the lookout. I'm going to be needing some help really soon. So uh, I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you posted. Hey, what's up, bro? You good? I'm good, yep. No, we're just taking some pictures. Okay. What's it up, What's up? Don't kill her, bro. <laughs> All right, so look, this is my little 
So this is my little camera bag. Got my little flash. All right, so we just came home from the shoot. It was amazing. Like, we got some really... Listen, I low-key may have a second career in photography. I really... I'm really that good. Like, look. Look at these pictures. There's someone who, who left a comment on the, under one of the videos that really, like, struck me. So I scheduled a Skype call with him. So uh, I got to do that in about 20 minutes. I'm tired as hell, but... I made, you know, I gave him my word, so. Kami's cooking dinner. What's for dinner, baby? Teriyaki chicken, healthy fried rice, and mixed vegetables. Mmm. What's this Chinese chicken you said? Yep. Teriyaki sesame, Teriyaki sesame chicken. Mmm, it's about to go down. Babe, this chicken is unreal. Really? Oh my gosh. Look at this chicken, it's so tender. Look, look. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> See my face in the background. <laughs> That's why you got the ring, boo. Bow. You know it's good when you moan when you eat. Or when you when you chew it up and you're so impatient that you, you don't you don't finish, you don't swallow it before you take the next bite. Cause you just want more right now. All right, look, I'm about to put y'all on to my favorite healthy dessert. I'm gonna put the recipe on the screen, right? But I gotta hurry up, because Kimmy don't want me to tell y'all, because this is her, like, secret recipe. So here it is, real real quick. You put, and you gotta make sure you weigh everything out. Look, I got my scale, and uh, my ball right there, boom, right? 50 grams of pumpkin puree, right? This comes in a can. It comes in a can like this, pumpkin puree, right? So 50 grams of pumpkin puree, you gotta weigh everything out, boom. This is Kodiak pancake mix. You have to put 10 grams of Kodiak pancake mix. You gotta put 25 grams of protein, and y'all know how I do, that good old snickerdoodle by P.E. Select. So you gotta put 25 grams. Put 10 grams of peanut butter. My favorite is the Jif Natural. Then you add a little bit of water. Let me show y'all the texture that you're going for. Hold on. Yeah. yeah this is about kind of like a little bit more solid than baby food. All right. Make sure you scrape the sides, get it all mixed in there real good. Oh shit, Cammy's coming. I got, I got busted. All right, so you put that in the microwave for a minute and 10 seconds. All right, when you take it out, when you take it out, I have, I can't explain this texture, but it's still, it's still soft. But it'll, it, it turns into kind of like a, a cookie slash cake, but a softer version. And then what I do is I put a few spoons of Halo Top on top. This is, I'm gonna just put the rest. This is probably like a quarter, a little bit more than a quarter of a pint. Mix that up in there real good. I throw a few of these chocolate chips on this joint. I get the Nestle uh, dark chocolate morsels. Dark chocolate is, oh shit, that's too much. I just 
put a few of them like that. Boom. Put a little bit of this chocolate whipped cream on there. And voila. This joint is missile. Try it out. Comment below if y'all want me to do more healthy desserts. I'll start researching them, trying them out, and then I'll share them with you guys. I just bodied that dessert. Feel good. I'm getting a little tired. I've been going all day. But look, y'all. We are this close to 100,000 subscribers. We got about 30,000 more. I need y'all to help me spread the channel. Tell your friends to tell their friends to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate everybody. Please leave this video a thumbs up. Again, if you have any video requests, leave them below. And the Brick Squad, man, I, I appreciate all the support. Everybody who's been buying t-shirts, supporting the channel, like you guys, you have no clue how much I appreciate you. Seriously. So as always, I'm just trying to share the wellness with you guys. So get well and get money.